So welcome to my presentation for the EGLE conference in 2023. I just um, shared a presentation. And the presentation has the title Inventing the Future by Writing Science Fiction Stories. An introduction. Social changes in areas such as politics, economics, and environmental protection require rethinking. Companies are embracing these changes and seeking new approaches for the raison d'être, products, and services. Digitization or digital transformation is considered to be a promising component of the new approaches. However, digitization itself does not bring new approaches, products, or services. This has to be developed. For these developments, companies invest in the development of innovations and future scenarios. In the search for innovations and future scenarios, companies use various creative methods to find new ideas. Common creative methods include brainstorming, design thinking, and for example, the 635 method. The focus of this study is the development of future scenarios in the entrepreneurial field via the writing of science fiction stories. The writing process should encourage people to think about the future and develop their own scenarios. In the best case, entrepreneurial and personal action can be influenced in a positive sense. Thus, the focus of the research project presented here is not on reading or reading literature, but on writing how we imagine the future under certain given criteria. The research question and um, the research interest. Two topics are the focus of interest. On the one hand, we look at the topics that are written about. On the other hand, it will be analyzed how the writers perceive the writing process. From this, it will be derived how writing process on innovations can be better supported in the future. The framework um, of the study. The science fiction stories were written by students in a Master of Science in Business Administration program in Switzerland. Most of the students were in the second semester. About um, half of the students are from Switzerland, Germany, and Austria. The other half of the students are international students from a wide um, variety of other countries. On average, the students were about 26 years old when the stories were written. The stories were created as part of a lecture on current trends around digital transformation. The following topics were covered in class. The metaverse, games, artificial intelligence, politics, digital art, and digital ethics. At least one of these topics had to be included in the science fiction stories and play a central role. The students um, were introduced um, to the genre of science fiction. They were also given tips on story structure and writing. Uh, it was specified that the stories should have a length of um, around 8,000 words. As a first step, students did a literature review on their topic to know the current state of developments. Before writing the stories, students submitted the concept of their um, stories in the form of a visualization. Creating visualizations um, with the emergence of JetGTP in mind proved to be a good tool to discuss with the students about their envisioned stories. The science fiction stories could be written either individually or in groups of two. All students wrote an individual reflection on the content of the story and of the writing process. In addition, interviews were conducted with um, individual students about their experience writing the stories. A total of 30 um, science fiction stories were in, included in the study. 
16 individual stories and 14 group stories. Approximately half of the papers were written in English and half in German. Students who absolutely did not want to write science fiction stories could write a research paper using a research method of their own choice um, and for one of the topics discussed in class. Three students made use of this option. One student decided after the data analysis to write the results, a science fiction story after all. Didactically, especially regarding the evaluation of science fiction stories, the lecture was challenging. It also led to some discussions between um, the lecturers. Hardly any great innovations emerged from classical scientific papers or performance assessments. Students study the past or the present. Ideas for the future hardly ever um, are collected. In order to direct the view into the future, Classical science fiction um, papers were uh, as classical scientific papers were not used um, for once um, in this lecture. The theoretical framework um, of the study. At the beginning of the work and lecture, the focus was mainly on creative methods and their extension. In the course of the work, um, this focus was changed. The approach of the creative methods um, was mostly not enough scientific for us, especially regarding the data evaluation, um, they did not really help. The focus was then directed to specific literature on science fiction and future scenarios. In particular, literature on empirical eco-criticism was consulted. This examines environmental narratives in different media and their effects on different audiences. The present study does not look at existing narratives, but at how narratives are created and what the writing process triggers in the writers. With regard to the evaluation of the science fiction stories, creative methods were not used as original, originally intended. Qualitative evaluation methods were used. Here it became apparent that the evaluation of scenarios of the future does not play a major role in the qualitative methodological literature. In qualitative research, protocols of the past are mostly used. So the research methods. The science fiction stories were evaluated first with a quantitative and uh, afterwards with a qualitative content analysis. The goal was to create a typology of the themes raised, raised in the stories. The interviews also were analyzed using a qualitative content analysis. And software for qualitative data analysis, analysis was used for all qualitative analysis. The results. Um, first, the results um, for the science fiction stories um, the students uh, had written. The goal of the evaluation of the science fiction stories was to compile a typology of the themes that um, appear in the stories. First of all, um, I would like to say something about the assumptions I had. I assumed that the stories would show many technical possibilities of the future, which would be um, evaluated quite um, positively. The evaluation of the stories showed um, something different. The stories were rather, I would say, dark. The focus was not, was not on technical progress, but on social disintegration and problems due to climate change. The following are the central themes or types. Here I would like to um, note that this is an intermediate state of evaluations. Due to the uh, content of the science fiction stories, uh, we will do a more in-depth evaluation. Politics. Politic political unrest appears in many stories. Democratic governments hardly exist anymore. However, new political and democratic approaches are dealt with in the stories. Citizens are controlled by technical means and the rules are strict. War is mentioned and here references to the Ukraine war become visible. Climate change. Climate change and its effects 
are central topics in the stories. It is more written about climate catastrophes um, than about solutions. The idea that future scenarios with possible solutions are written must be rather contradicted. The poor and the rich. The gap between the poor and the rich is wide. And the gap between the poor and the rich is often mentioned in connection with politics and climate change. Health. In particular, um, mental health plays a role in the stories. The psyche of people is influenced by technical possibilities. People's state of consciousness is manipulated voluntarily or by others. Chips or the like are inserted into, into people's brains and bodies. The topic of pandemics, COVID-19, is taken, taken up several times. Future pandemics um, uh, are the content of several stories. Relationships and love. In all stories, the protagonists and the relationships play a central role. This is not surprising since characters are central in stories and also science fiction stories. Characters, relationships and love stories are placed in the context of problems around politics and climate change. To put it somewhat romantically, the love stories triumph over world problems and technology. And um, a word about the images in the presentation. It was not specified that the students had to work with images in the stories. However, students expressed a desire to have their stories illustrated. This is certainly where the advent of AI image generators plays a role. The images in the presentation were taken from students' science fiction stories, and most of the images were created using AI image generators. The results of the interviews. In the results of the science fiction story, um, if the results of the science fiction stories were rather different than expected, it can be said about the results of the interviews with the students that the feedback on the writing process was much more extensive than expected. Scientific writing and creativity. The students appreciated be, uh, being allowed to write a non-scientific paper for once in their studies. They consider writing science fiction stories to be something creative. From my research methodological point of view, it is interesting to evaluate the stories um, scientifically again. The writing process. Some students had uh, no trouble getting started with writing. Others needed quite a lot of help. Student pointed out that it had been a very long time since they last wrote a creative text. And often the students found it difficult to find the end of the stories. Thus, the end was often missing from the concepts. Writing in a team. Students who wrote the science fiction stories in teams enjoyed it. Mostly they took turns writing and the text passages were discussed again and again. As mentioned before, most students created images to go with the story. Especially because of ChatGTP, it would be exciting to have multimedia stories created. In general, students appreciate feedback on their papers. We should have a lot more time for feedback on the science fiction stories. The students felt a great need to discuss the content of the stories together. And they also felt the need to talk about the writing process. Students find it interesting after finishing the science fiction stories to reflect on the content of the stories and how they see the future. In hindsight, some stories would have been rewritten and students took it up on themselves to shape their life so that their stories would remain fiction and not become the future. A short conclusion and next steps. Um, writing has an effect, writing about the past, the present and the future. We know from research that writing about uh, one's own past, for example, in the form of biographies, has positive effects. 
writing about the present, for example, in diaries, is also evaluated for shaping one's own life. Writing about the future is something we want to look at more closely. The goal here is to enable a contribution to a consciously created future, a future in which justice and environmental protection play a central role and creativity path are taken to achieve this. The next step is to apply the writing of future scenarios in the form of fiction or science fiction in different settings. Um, we start with elementary schools, uh, go ahead with universities, and also in companies and other organizations. The aim is to work out how writing processes on future scenarios can, see, can be supported as beneficially as possible. So thank you very much um, for your attention. I also would like to say thank you to my students who inspired me to go ahead. And I'm looking forward um, to discuss with you at the conference.